Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next avatar video. In this one I want to talk about the spine image across all five of the Avatar comic omnibus editions. So I've done reviews individually for all of these omnibus editions and I've definitely noticed uh, on especially the reviews for the last two, a lot of people on those videos contact me, contact me on Twitter just about, hey, uh, my spine image does not line up, I see yours doesn't either. Uh, is this going to be fixed? Has it been fixed? What's going on? Because as you can see here, if you bought first edition copies of all of these books and got them basically on or in or around release date, your five books when lined up together is going to look like this. Look like what I have here on screen. The promise into the search, fine. You know, if we just kind of make them a little bit closer together. Promise into the search, fine. Um, the search into the rift actually is fine, except obviously when Smoke and Shadow came out, it created a problem. But the problem is actually with the rift, and you can immediately see now that the five of them are together. The problem is that the rift is a good bit thicker than all of the other books. For no real reason, and this is exactly the problem. Uh, in my Smoke and Shadow uh, review for Omnibus, um, I, I covered basically what the problem is. And basically, the amount thicker than all the other books that the Rift is, that amount extra of the image being there is why the image is off. If the, if the Rift was the size of the normal books, everything would be fine. That's completely what the problem is. So it's there's no problem with any of the other books. It's all on the Rift. So that's where this comes in. New copy of the Rift. This is the second printing of the Rift and it immediately does fix the problem. So um, you can see here that this copy of the Rift is now the same size as The Promise, The Search, Smoke and Shadow and North and South and it really highlights how much thicker the Rift was. You can see it just there by like the gap between the text and then the front and back of the book. It's pretty crazy how much more off it actually is and this does completely fix the image if we just uh, quickly exchange these without knocking all these books over okay so you can see there now that I've put the uh, second edition printing in instead of the first edition printing the spine image works a lot nicer no double arm ang no double soccer side of the face it works pretty nicely uh, there's always going to be some sense of it's never like absolutely perfect in that uh, you can sort of see the way like the just the bands on the kind of design here don't quite line up that it more is an issue of that they're maybe off now by the height of each book but you can you can easily deal with that on your shelf just by like propping the books up just a little bit so that the the images line up like absolutely perfect but you can see it does work now so that's good so it has been fixed and that's uh, you know great, obviously. The problem with this overall is that for you to have the set of omnibus editions that work correctly, it means you actually have to put in more effort than is probably needed to get yourself an acceptable copy of the Rift. Because no bookstores that I've ever bought from sell the books based on printing edition. Especially when there's nothing particularly different about the editions um, there, there's there's no way to really like tell when you're ordering online so the only real way for you to get a corrected version of this is maybe to just wait a while and order from somewhere or go somewhere that you know has the books in person that's what I had to do my local comic book store has copies of the Rift but they have first edition copies um, I had to go into town and when I took, took a look at the comic store in there, they had the second edition printing. So that is, you know, obviously awkward in that I had to buy two copies of this book just so that the unique thing about the omnibus, omnibus editions actually worked the way it was intended to. That's not great, but that is the way it works. Uh, the final thing I just want to talk about is um, just to give you guys like, all of the information that there is out there about the second edition version of the book. Um, is that if you go to the first edition, so this is the kind of thick version here, and you go to the sort of uh, inside page, so basically page two of the book, and you look on the inside cover here, 
you can see first edition February 2021. But if you look just above printed in China, you can see a string of numbers. The fact that there's the one there means that this is the first edition printing of the book. Um, but if we look at the second edition printing of the book on the exact same page, you can see the one is not there and instead two is the lowest number. That means this is the second edition printing of the book. That's how you kind of, I think, read those codes. So even if you maybe can't just immediately tell by eye the uh, kind of difference between these two uh, based on the shelf, like say if they only have the rift in stock, uh, you don't know which one is which. It's easy to tell which one is which when the, ri when the rift is among other books because you can obviously tell if it's the same size as the other books, it's fine. If it's different, it's wrong. But here's another way to just check for sure that is the right printing of the book is to uh, obviously do that. So there's a look at it from the side to show you just how much kind of taller one is than the other. Um, so that's the, the other thing there. So, you know, never a good thing to happen uh, on a thing that's sort of more collectible for the collectible aspect of it to cause a problem. It has been fixed and just keep an eye out. That's, that's probably the best way to say this. If you're just going around to uh, stores that you know sell books keep an eye out for omnibus editions and if you see copies of the rift just check if it's the same size as the other ones and then you know you can get a kind of fixed version obviously you know it's you know 25 dollars or so depending on where you get it it's not like cheap but if you do want the nice looking kind of uh, collection together it's kind of just that thing that you kind of have to do because I, I don't think a lot of people who are, you know, have multiple copies of the Rift are going to be happy just with, oh, the spine image is off, when that's the only unique thing about it. So that's why I was okay, ultimately, with buying a second version of this, in that, like, I now have, I suppose, four copies of the Rift across two, these two, the, the library editions and the original releases of the parts. Um, but that's that. So in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, were you aware that uh, the Rift has been changed? And if you have a sort of wrong version of the Rift, um, are you going to put any effort in to try and get the uh, new second printing of it or not? So uh, that's been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.